he's in pretty bad shape. I think I saw... Yeah, there's a clinic right there. Should be able to find something for him. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What? Vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too! Don't bullshit me, man! <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh man! I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. Alright then. Let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were! I just could tell! I... Oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn! It was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! Are you a vampire? How do you know all of this? I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! You said you were a ghoul? What is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power! Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff! Jeez, oh man! Then they're a ghoul and, ooh, watch out! You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. So who is this nasty dude? Oh, man! I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires, oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? So what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man, but I better be going, oh man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> See you around. think of that guy. Feels like a masquerade violation waiting to happen. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Just bring in my friend some personal items. Alright, go on back. you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> Nothing. I'm just a nurse. No, no. You did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You... I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, forget about this. Don't say anything. You'll be fine. You... I feel like I know you, like you've always been here. I really must be going now. That may have been a mistake. Hmm. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. 
I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Fine. Getting no response. Personnel files, let's see. Good worker, employee, employee. Huh. All right. Farts too much. Internal Wrangler. Not sure what that even means. Our night shift senior physician. That must be the guy in the other room. Never lost a patient. Good show, Dr. Roberts, I suppose. Several malpractice suits. Unnecessary gynecology. Real winner there. Let's see what's in the email. That would be helpful. <laughs> Malcolm's office. Okay. Malcolm in the middle of a pelvic examination? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Don't mind me just going through your personal files. Dr. Malcolm. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ah. That. Probably exactly what I'm looking for. What's here? Lacerations, critical condition. Hmm. Joe Patrick, isn't that the same number as the guy with the crime pewter? Untreated herpes? Huh. That's gotta be an inside joke I don't get. Probably. See what you got in here. House calls. Somebody's been a do naughty doctor. Who is this page? R. E. thinks she's suspicious. Those pelvic exams they were talking about. And yep, he's making house calls, all right. Oh, this is from someone else. Mother's coming into town. Curtains. Groceries. Oh, he's not single, is he? Isn't. That. Fascinating. Maybe we should have another conversation with him. Could have sworn or something. I must have... Huh. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. You Malcolm? 
Your wife knows about your affair. Get out of here! Can't you see I'm with a patient? I guess if you don't care if your wife founds out then. Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out! Then I'll just go forward that email from Paige to Trina at SOLVTM. Wait now. What do you want? 75 bucks. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. And you'll never speak to me about that again. Put it in mail talk box for 508 in the apartments over the pawn shop. Doctor. I guess I got what I came for. some morphine. Hold still. Oh. oh, holy Christ, I needed that. You're welcome. I'll come back when I have the astrolite. Goodbye. <laughs>